All right, Jet fans, after an 0-4 start, it's time to make that playoff push. We got Sam Darnold coming back against the Cowboys. He is a creature. What can we say about him? Well, he's unique. There's none like him. I feel a special connection with him. He's undefeated. He's the reigning. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, we can finally get excited for football again. We don't have to watch Luke Falk flounder behind our offensive line. Sam Darnold is coming back this week against the Cowboys. And I can honestly say I am so happy I would kiss Sam Darnold. Only, I'm not risking it yet. I know he's not contagious, but not risking it yet. I don't want to hear the odds. I know it's like a 1% chance that the Jets could make the playoffs after starting 0-4. So you're telling me there's a chance. But the Jets are coming into a very favorable part of their schedule. And starting this week against the Cowboys, the Jets can go on a run. Now, the Cowboys have three wins to their name right now. But you look at their wins. It was against the Giants with Eli Manning. It was against Washington. And it was against Miami. So... I know the Jets aren't a great team, but our defense has been playing well. Sam, at 80%, still had the best stats of any of the quarterbacks that went up against that Buffalo Bills defense. So I think Sam, even if he's at 90%, whatever it is, I think we have a good shot at taking down the Cowboys. I think it's going to be an upset alert. I would take the Jets head-to-head -head right now. I'm all in. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go on a run, guys. Now, what should we expect out of Sam Darnold this week and the Jets offense? The offense has been pretty putrid, and I I can't, you know, stress this enough. A lot of that does fall on Luke Falk. Yes, our offensive line has been giving up a ton of sacks, but you look at how Luke Falk held on to the ball, a lot of those sacks were because he was a young quarterback that did not get a lot of time to practice with the starting lineup. So the offensive line, Alex Lewis, look for him to continue his good grade across the offensive line. Hopefully Edoga can, you know, start and build off his first start, and then maybe we gain a little bit of cohesion uh, across the line there. And having Sam Darnold back is going to open things up for the run game, for the pass game. Players are not going to crash down and force the quarterback to throw the ball when Sam is a proven thrower. You know this guy can complete passes. He's a smart quarterback. He's going to dissect you. So look for Herndon, who's coming back, which I am super stoked on. <laughs> I really like Chris Herndon a lot. Uh, look for Crowder to get back into it. He had 14 receptions in week one, so he is going to get a heavy workload as well this week. Look for, you know, Bell to get back into it. If they're not crowding the line, that should free things up around, you know, the entire offense. And a lot of us are on the Fire Adam Gase bandwagon right now. I'm not on it. I want to see Sam Darnold in this offense. I don't like that, you know, Adam Gase is getting this bad of a name with such a beat-up roster that he really didn't have a say in creating this offseason. And you look at his quarterbacks in the past. Ryan Tannehill was his best quarterback outside of, you know, Peyton Manning, and Tannehill is now a backup to Marcus Mariota, who's one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL. So <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, let's see what he looks like with Darnold. I'm excited for this. And to support my point even further with Adam Gase, I came across a stat today from Rich Semini, and I did not believe it when I first saw it. But the Jets actually lead the league with the highest rate of open targets, with a 55.9% open target rate with their wide receivers. Now, what does that mean? That means that the wide receiver is at least three yards away from the nearest defender, and they can track this based on where the players are on the field, and the Jets are the best at it. And that has to get credited towards Adam Gase. I mean, yes, our receivers are, you know, they're getting open, they're doing their thing, but the scheme is also working. Sam Darnold having this kind of separation should be able to take advantage of it the way that Simeon and Luke Falk were not able to. So let's go on a run, guys. This is week six, our fifth game of the season. Let's go 1-4 and four and move on to New England. Let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, go Jets. Jets!